Hey, Apple. What? This is one of the many reasons that personally I've never used and never will use a fold-up bed. This is a TikTok slideshow that was sent to me where the first slide shows a fold-up bed, the second slide shows two elderly women, and the third slide shows a funeral coffin. Now it really doesn't take much to put two and two together and understand what happened here, but let's outline this full entire story. Firstly, the two older women behind me are Mildred Bowman and Alice Wardle both of them in their 60s and their sisters. And back in July of 2005, they decided that they were going to fly down to Benny Dorm and stay in these apartments that you see behind me. They had made plans to meet up with their family the following day, which was a Sunday. However, they never showed up and this greatly concerned their family because usually this is not something they would do. Over the course of the next four days, their family would tirelessly search for them in places that they were known to hang out at without any luck. That is until the hotel manager decided to break some horrendous news. Mildred and Alice had been discovered in their room, not alive. Apparently what happened is the casing against the wall for the fold-up bed had been fitted with the wrong size screws. This caused it to fall down on top of both of them and trap them below it. According to the coroner's report, they were alive for four heartbreaking, painstaking days below that before they finally gave up the ghost. This story is extremely tragic and I could not imagine being trapped under a folding bed for four days next to your sister. But the moral of the story is if you're installing a folding bed, make sure you use the right tools and the right size screws.